How's it going everybody? I'm Danny D. This is Seven Deadly Bananas and we are about to watch The Haunting of Bly Manor. Okay, so we're moving into Bly Manor. This is gonna be fun, folks. We're, you're in uh, for an adventure. This <laughs> Pippi Longstocking is coming into your town. <laughs> I don't know why that song came in my head, but I like it. That was one of my favorites when I was a kid. Uh, even though I didn't watch it that many times, this, the movie stuck with me. Pippi Longstocking, watch it if you haven't seen it. I feel like I sound crazy, you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry for what I'm about to put you through. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, yeah, dude. And he is, oh my god. What a face. Oh, no you don't. You insisted. Even if you begged, you said we had to get this one done. Whoa. Ah. Christ. Whoa, whoa. That is an accent. <laughs> that is heavy. Uh, Scottish? Because uh, that seems heavy. And he did a damn good, uh, like, you know, normal American accent before. Oh, uh, see, I hate it. Okay, tell me. Tell me which one. Is, is he this accent or is he American accent? I don't know. Do, do you need a minute? No. Good now. There you go. He will notice, you know. Okay. <laughs> nice. And? <laughs> you have a stain on your blouse. <laughs> I trust that won't be a problem, Mr. Quint. Yeah, they like it. They're, they're digging each other. They, their confidence is clashing. <laughs> you can tell. It's like, meh, you know, meh. And then she's like, meh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe be half a world away on a beach somewhere. Uh, children, why don't you go upstairs, please? No, 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 no arguments. Oh, there's a story we're about to find out. Dude, he's... There's something about his smile. Man. It's very jokery. It's very... It's like the movie Smile. Like that. Like, oh, he should have been all up and down in that movie. What have I gotten myself into exactly? Mm -hmm. Well, the children are clever. <laughs> Life a bit strange. Mm -hmm. And you're out in the middle of nowhere. Just flip. And flip. Yeah. Throw some ah, fireflies. She, she, she's got a shotgun. What the fuck? What the fuck? Do you want hot chocolate? Oh, my skin's crawling, thinking he might be out there. How about we stay here tonight? There we go. Back with the denim. <laughs> this is all so exciting. We're going to set all night long and it's going to be perfectly... Oh, thank you. <laughs> I feel like a drinking game can be started from the perfectly splendid. <laughs> so, he comes on back to find out why. Well, that doesn't bode well for anyone. Yeah, that is straight up horse, uh, horror story. I wouldn't fancy being there when Peter Quint finds out Rebecca Jessel is dead. Campfire story right there. You should start something. That's a book. You can make a story out of that. My name is Flora. But they're not made up. I'll make one of you, Miss Jessel. Why you gotta be creepy, little girl? Thank you so much. That perfectly splendid. Oh. No mm. one's ever given me flowers before. Perfectly splendid. <laughs> Horses is carrots, and for women, most of them, it's flowers. Then why did you give Way the to put them in a box, bro. I didn't. Mm. He's playing some mind games. <laughs> He's some mind fuckery going on right here. So, how are you finding it? It's a fine job, really. She is so tiny compared to him, holy fuck. I mean, I can't imagine a young Rebecca Jessel looking out her window, aiming up at the sky that someday. <laughs> Tell me what you want. I mean... What's he getting at? A proper barrister like Mr. Wingrave. But first, I need a pupillage. Did she say barista? Run a hand up your skirt every day for six months while you try to persuade them that your brain isn't between your legs. Oh my God, kick him in the balls. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Playing, playing chess, making moves. You're feeling nobody. <laughs> I can't do it that good, I'm sorry. <laughs> Unless I'm quoting a movie or something. It's been a long time since I've had a real one. 
Good night, Rebecca Jessel. Good night, Peter Quint. Peter Quint. It's right on the borderline of sounding either superhero or supervillain name. They really ought to be in bed. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Is yes. she? <laughs> Are they? <laughs> <I'm> like, <wait. laughs> there's, there's a little something sparking. <laughs> That is, uh, is that the glasses guy? Because usually that's just a silhouette, right? Ooh, fuck. That would fucking freak me out, man. Couldn't sleep in that room. I feel like a lot of things are gonna end up circulating around her and this apparition that she's seeing throughout this whole thing. Like, it's going to be the crescendo of the whole thing. You've seen this, hey? This belonged to my dad. Don't give it to him. He's gonna set something on fire, because I did that. <laughs> Hold on to it for me. Would you like that? Just don't burn the house down, please. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was an idiot. When I was a kid, I swear. <laughs> oh my god, I was an idiot. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, these old house noises too. Like everything creaks. God, she is short. She's short. I I couldn't sleep and uh, uh. Nice. There you go. It's bound to happen. You guys are obviously gaga for each other. Googly gagas. Got the googly eyes. Does anyone else use the church except for her? She just gets her own like personal private church. Well, thank you for coming to our rescue. Oh, you always come to mine. Yeah. Well, he does have the Magnum P.I. mustache. Capital. Wonderful, in fact. Can we have a picnic, do you think? It's marvellous day for it. Time to take over the world! Once we find Flora, let's make a day of it. What do you mean, find Flora? Isn't she in her room? I'm all finished. And I wanted to show you something. Here you are. Thank you. He stayed the night, you know. Well, it is mm -hmm. fun to have him here. Maybe it's a rugby ball. Maybe that's why he was throwing it at him. They are bigger. They're bigger. It's not easy to throw like a football. Yeah, what are you doing, kid? Flora. No! Flora. No! 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 No what? Oh. Ooh. Okay, Lady of the Lake. Is that what she turned into? Yes, that's it. This is a huge HR problem. <laughs> all, all I see is lawsuits. <laughs> Come back to bed. Please. What the fuck was that? Mm -mm. I don't like it. We should be It's here. fine. We've got permission from the top. The children are- Then it's set. I've seen to it. Okay? This guy just seems hellbent on breaking all the rules all of a sudden, even though he's, he, but he also was like the direct assistant to the guy, the main guy. I don't know. His attitude on the whole thing completely changed. See, for like that, you have to feel it on your skin. Mm. At least once in your life, there's nothing like it. He's fucking creeping me out, man. There's just something about, I don't know, doubts in Let me mind. show you. Just how beautiful you are. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is how it starts, man. Next picture is her like bound and gagged and shit. Cause he's a serial killer. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm so They're sorry. That's <laughs> fucking rad. She's just looking over here. <laughs> the blouse. Perhaps. <laughs> Dude, it's what he wants. He's setting this all up. What the fuck? Come on, Pete. You're the tiebreaker. Oh no, the pressure. Oh, see, you fucked it all up. Why you gotta put me foot your fucking fingers in there? See, it's all contaminated. Why would I stick for that? He's one of those guys. Wonderful. 
If you get hungry while I'm gone, why don't you see if Owen can find something to stuff into your mouth since you're okay with that, apparently. Oh, fuck you. Fuck yeah, he's gone mad. You said you took this job because you didn't want old men looking up your skirt or down your blouse but age him down and dumb him up and you just open up when you're told this high. What the fuck do you think you're doing to her? I mean, it's good to know that when a man asks you to put something in your mouth, he doesn't have to ask twice. Oh my fucking god! Misunderstand? Fuck you! The guy- Tell him kick rocks! Fuck him! What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Holy fuckballs! It's once it was done, it was perfectly safe. Oh my and fucking god, I knew she was gonna say that. I was hoping for the best though. Soon, they forgot they had strings. Later, they forgot. You're even puppets at all. Is this like Puppet Masters? This is the origin story of the Puppet Master. They made like six of those, by the way. If you like this highlight and you want to see more of me watch things like this completely unedited, hit that link below. Seven Deadly Bananas on Patreon. Get in there and start watching TV with me. I'm going to light a candle. That's her go-to spot. She just goes back to the church, lights another candle. I'm so glad you stayed. I am too. Mm-hmm. Little unicorns. Rainbows. <laughs> Rainbows. <laughs> I didn't even mean it like that at first. <laughs> This is the perfect time. That would have been the perfect time on the perfect fucking angle. Yeah! It's evil Harry Potter! Ah! It's Sin City Harry Potter. You evil reflective bastard. Oh, no, fuck you! Fuck that! Oh, that was good. It made my skin jump. Holy fuck! <laughs> Never in my wildest dreams would I have thought him going backwards would have still been the reaction that I would have gotten. Oh, that was good, dude. That was awesome. <laughs> I think she wishes she could swap us. <laughs> then you'd have to live with my mom. <laughs> Those are some Harry Potter glasses. <laughs> I was wondering where this was going. I was like, who is this? Who are these people? <laughs> I always like While we were walking to school, I get down on one knee and uh -huh. I asked her when to marry ten. me. <laughs> Can't wait. Why is there? That's all I know. Jesus. There's a layer of awkwardness going on. What's going on in her face and her reaction with that? I always hoped I'd have a daughter I could give this to. I'm so proud of my sons, but I don't think this would suit any of them. <laughs> God, it's just reminding me of a, a really old memory. Decent. Come in. I like her hair like that. Okay, yeah. That's a relief, actually. I, um... I had a funeral in my own life. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's all fucking hit me right in the face now. The guy with the glasses, the shadowy figure that she keeps seeing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I am obviously on lag today. That just feels like, oh, it should have been such an obvious thing right away. Holy shit, okay. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Thank you. Yeah. Is that a pincher? No. I'm sorry. It also reminds me of uh, Elijah Wood in Sin City. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's always that little glance from her. It's just like, mm, trying to get a vibe. Are you vibing? <laughs> Still can't tell. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to read people. <laughs> in a way, they'll always be here. They're not here. We can pretend. That makes you feel better. Oh, no. You're like a little adult, this is creeping me out. I don't know, I don't know. There would be, it was too, ah, it was too mature. 
<laughs> I guess it's the only thing I can think of. The au pair found that she lit her candle not in remembrance of those that she lost, but to atone for the moments she didn't remember them. We've all been there, I think. Just shoot me. Put me out of my misery. It's not fair on anyone. I don't think fairness comes into it, dear. Mm. I think it's really actually hard to say something like that. Like, unless you've witnessed it, which is different, I think. But if, but like for me, if I were to fall, vi fall victim to uh, a, a major disorder that, that kind of took life away from me, I don't know. I don't know how I would like that. I don't know how I would treat that. Right there. Oh. Coppins, you all right? Coppins. What a great nickname. <laughs> it's one of the best nicknames ever. I, I'm fine. I need a, I need a minute. Not to be insensitive, but it kind of looked like she really had to go to the bathroom for a second there. <laughs> I thought he was Peter Quint. She's ridiculous. We're much better looking. Uh -huh. Stand down, Poppins. Nice. He does hold the mustache well, I gotta say. Did she wear her hair up on the day? Show him off. Karen, please. Did you let Mike oh, see you and yours? Oh, damn. No, but Danielle's then... father helped pick mine out, and look how that damn. turned out. I don't think you can blame that on the dress. Mm, what? God damn. There could be so many different storylines going on now with that, but it's starting to, starting to get in focus here. Yeah, my, uh... My mum used to make this when she had to go away for work. They'd keep the dice in the fridge. Yeah, see, that's old school. She's American. Essentially savage people. Ah. Would you be going away? <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, I, love, I love shit like that, honestly. I love it. I, I love all the kinds of jokes that kind of go towards the, those directions. I love that. Dead doesn't mean gone. So, you don't need to be sad. I'm, I'm pausing right now because it's, it's interesting that, that she said the way she said what she said. My, my dad died. My dad died when I was eight. And the thing, the thing that I remember going through my mind, not in words per se, but more in like flashes of pictures and, and the impressions that I was getting from that plus the experience of him passing and all of that. The main factor about it was that me and him look exactly alike. And there was something about his passing that put that plus his passing together as the prediction of that means I'm going to die. There was something about that experience that just made me think that, okay, uh, there's a time limit, that like I've got a clock. It's a beautiful thing what she just said. Little mature, little kid, freaking me out, fuck you. <laughs> They do that in France for the little kids. I don't want it watered down. I want an actual bloody drink. Uh-uh. No. What the fuck was that? That was again, that was like a, a slash of adult, abusive adult, but still, that was adulty. What the hell is that? Was that a beard? Please don't move things around my dollhouse. Oh. I have a very, a very particular system. <laughs> I'd just like for you to tell me the truth. Mm. No. Of course not. We don't let him in the house. It's not how it works. You do that? A lot. You look over my shoulder. What are you looking at? I don't know what you mean. Creepy little kid fucking with the nanny's mind. <laughs> I'm going to be singing Pippi Longstocking words all day now. <laughs> My dad died when I was about Flora's age. And my mom was alive, but um, she wasn't really there anymore. We really get to choose the grown-ups that we keep in our life. Well, mostly, anyway. But I suppose that is pretty special. <laughs> I get the special part, don't get me wrong. I agree with the special part. I think we're all special. <laughs> but we don't all make the best decisions. <laughs> I really like the sound of fire. Fuck I you, Danielle. How, why are you doing this to me? 
I'm sorry. Eddie! Eddie! Oh, I knew it. I was gonna say something. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn. Eddie! some final destination shit and she loved me so hard it hurt sometimes and all i could do was just let her hang on to me until it was time to let go and soon i'll let her go too She's gonna see him right away, isn't she? <laughs> yep. Fuck me, dude. Mm. God, that would just be so fucking creepy. It's make you pee yourself creepy, dude. Fucking shit. And she's just ah. Oh my god, no fucking way. No fucking way. No fucking way. <laughs> she plays Panic really well, dude. She's got this anxiety attack thing just down pat. It, uh, the breathing, the feeling, the urgency. And she sounds Oi. like my mom. <laughs> Dead boyfriend. Give it up, mate. It's over. Uh, uh... I don't know. I don't know. You want to be doing that? I know what it feels like. Feel like you can't find your. I'm rooting this on. I am. I'm just like finally inside. But at the same time, I feel like she's fucked now. I feel like someone's going to die. <laughs> I, who? I wonder. I feel like she's going to die. Rose Lady, whatever her name is. She's wearing, she's wearing a hunting jacket. Yep, yep, shit. Oh, right through the heart or something. Fuck. <laughs> that, that really got me jumped. I jumped inside my skin <laughs> when, when she saw him. Miles? What the fuck? Is that doll hanging itself? Or being hung, I don't know. What happened? Mm. There was something horrible. Now, yeah, he's the looking at something. Mm -hmm. Moving from the tundra. Mm-hmm, now she's looking at something. A creature in my bed, and it knew my name, and it was reaching out, and it knew my name, and it said it wanted to do awful things, and I had bones yep. to hands. Ah, what's going on? Who is that? That's someone new. That's someone different. Just a few minutes more. What do you keep looking at? Just a minute. I don't care how drunk you are, you can see they're looking at something else. Ooh, okay. That's gonna mark something. Yep, yep. There you are, evil Harry Potter. It's just you and me then. Hmm? It is interesting. I mean, you'd think, because he's never done nothing, you know, the, the, this apparition. Ooh. You know, sooner or later, I, I would think that I would get used to him. I would just be like, yeah, he's this fucking guy. He scares the shit out of me all the time. You know, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Alcohol helps with that too. <laughs> I'm sure, you know. Fuck it, hey. So now we're starting to see some things coming into light. It was cool finally to get the story of, of who this figure is. And the kids are now taking on a different light where they seemed a little bit more devious. Now they seem, like the one kid seems like he's just being possessed. And then the girl is now all of a sudden spitting truth bombs everywhere and fucking, what the fuck? Like being a guru or whatever. What the hell? <laughs> they were both creepy in the get go from the start. <laughs> so it's interesting to start seeing them change that light as well. Well, awesome episode, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me and we will see you on the next episode.